if you see the strategy, uh, the policy, it's uh, mentioning all the details. I think uh, they will give, circulate the SME's uh, national policy. So you have got it that one. And the Ministry of Industries and Commerce play a lead role for the preparation of this policy and implementation as well. And in the meantime, the other partners uh, called uh, the Ministry of Rural Economic Affairs, Ministry of Science Technology Research, Ministry of Environment, Central Bank, and uh, Statistics Department, they also actively involved in, involved in the implementation, need to be involved in the in implementation process. That is the formulation of action plans within their uh, sectoral activities. And in view of the expediting uh, the implementation of this policy, action is being uh, taken by the Ministry of Industries with the participation of uh, relevant stakeholders to preparation of uh, action plan and relevant other actions. And at the same time, it was informed to us to convene a policy dissemination strategy meeting on modern, appropriate technology and invite respective stakeholders who are actively involved in the subject of research and development. That's what uh, this meeting was organized. And in addition to that, this meeting, other respective members of the subcommittee who are involved in the uh, other components also invited because to get their views and contribution for the preparation of this section plan as well. It's a, since the science and research institutions take part in technology, innovation and inventions programs to meet our current requirement for the people of the country to develop our employment opportunities and uh, technology transfer programs and uh, um, other relevant actions towards through the respective institutions to the grassroots level people. It will help the SMEs to produce products or services in a quality and uh, the compete with the international uh, quality standards as well. So that's why uh, we are uh, all, all invited and uh, request to contribute your uh, relevant uh, knowledge and experience to the preparation of this action plan. And uh, we all look forward to each and every institutes within uh, the research and development or the other respective institutions also. We need uh, the action plans to be prepared to include or add up whatever the uh, important uh, matters pointed out in this policy, we have to adapt and uh, do the needful to the people and country. So with this note, I would like to invite the additional secretary on behalf of the <coughs> Ministry of Industries and Commerce to inform this uh, forum about this uh, policy and uh, objective of this uh, meeting as well. Uh, briefly, I would like to say this, uh, the purpose of this meeting, objective of the meeting is two. One area is a dissemination of the SME policy. <coughs> the dissemination of the SME policy was suggested by the uh, senior advisor to the Prime Minister in three ways. One is uh, disseminate the policy in the national level. We plan to have it uh, with the, all stakeholders with the help of GIZ uh, to have it in November, mid of November or end of November in the national, uh, with the national players. Uh, we called for this meeting, this, uh, the political leaders and the administrators and especially for the business community to have this disseminate the policy in the national level. Number two, it was suggested to have it uh, disseminate the policy in the regional level. Our team will visit to the region or districts to get the idea from the stakeholders who are doing the business in the uh, regional and district levels. 
Third one, we plan to have with the stakeholders or the focal point areas of uh, service provider, which are mentioned and highlighted in the policy framework, uh, page number, I think, three. There are six areas have been identified. One of the main areas is the innovation, modern technology, and research and development. So today, what this is the meeting, second meeting, we are called for. We called for the meeting of this uh, the people who are involved in with this innovation and using the appropriate technologies and semiconductors. Uh, so my topic is uh, R and D and R and D for SMEs, and I would like to ask one question uh, initially. Do you know how many enterprises in Sri Lanka non agriculture? Other than agriculture and three wheelers, how many enterprises in Sri Lanka? Recently, a Census and Statistics Department published a report. Anyone can try? Okay, it's one million. To be perfect, one million nineteen thousand six hundred eighty-one. So much of uh, institutes are there. Enterprises are there, and out of that, how many are micro enterprises? Small, one or two people running their business. There, there are definitions. Uh, this uh, policy document uh, has one definition, and also census and statistics has one. I will show you both. And uh, uh, there are nine hundred thirty-five thousand seven hundred thirty-six micro. That means ninety-one point seven six. Right, the small seventy-one thousand nine hundred thirty-five thousand come to seventy-one thousand. That means six percent small and medium ten thousand. That means one point two uh, point zero two zero point two one almost one large in Sri Lanka. We have two thousand four hundred forty. That means point two. So now we understand the value of SMEs. So therefore, I should thank the government and the Minister of Industries and Commerce uh, with the support of Minister of Science and Technology. Now we are focusing on SMEs, which is going to be the drive of Sri Lanka. In other words, we call uh, private sector the engine of growth. So in that sense, private sector means. The SMEs, including micros. So if you don't nurture them and support them, we are not helping them, and Sri Lanka cannot go to the next level uh, as a country. Because if you want to reduce poverty, if you want to reduce the regional disparity, if you want to provide more employment, more exports, more uh, export uh, import substitutes, all these things can happen if you promote. And identify uh, SMEs. And one other point I would like to emphasize is that Ministry of Technology Research has having this Vidata program. Uh, of course, um, with some uh, deficiencies, but it's a quite good program in terms of uh, technology dissemination. So, how effective the ministry and the allied institutions and the universities use this Vidata system in terms of technology transfer? is uh, a point that we have to uh, really uh, think and uh, reflect upon. Are we uh, really uh, making use of this Vidata system which has a widespread, I think every DS division, uh, the secretary was uh, basically telling uh, with uh, Professor Sirimali on the other day, uh, some, somewhere around 250 Vidata centers uh, are there. But are we using this already established structure to technology dissemination is a point, and then is an invitation for the research institutions and the universities and the other agencies here uh, to have formulate such policies how we can uh, elaborate with the institutions. Another thing with GIZ also quite uh, quite uh, keen on supporting is this industry university linkage because in Sri Lanka uh, that was basically highlighted in higher, higher forums also the two things is not happening. One is private sector don't speak to the public sector, and universities don't speak to uh, the industries. I mean, it's, it's a quite uh, bold, but 
still there are a lot of things can be done. There are good practices in University of Sri Jayawa, Dhanapura, there are good practices in University of Moratua, but how to strengthen those good practices and as well as how to um, have the spillover effect of those good practices in Moratua University, Jayawa, Dhanapura University, to the regional universities like Uwavela, Sajakna or Eastern. So that is one area uh, that to be considered. 40% of milk production in the country. It's, of course, it was lower at that time. So now, we be, now it is about 40 to 40 percent. So, so meaning there is a 60 percent of market. So that you don't need Philip Kotler or whatever marketing technology to market it. So we thought that we have to facilitate the, this process and self to facilitate a self-employment from uh, based on women for milking. So, so the, sorry, dairy farming. Milking is the bottleneck. So then we uh, we visited uh, uh, what you call the, the one of the uh, the exhibitions in India and we bought a sample of a milking machine, so which can be customized to our situation. Now with the uh, nerd, we are we are in. We are, of course, the nerd has already produced it, and of course we have they have given a challenge to find out another component from India. We are looking for it. I had the idea of developing a business center at ITI. And we started, uh, it was uh, during my first tenure as the DGITI. I just started my second tenure yesterday. <laughs> and uh, uh, the idea when we uh, put forward to GIZ of developing a business center within the ITI premises, and they accepted it and they even agreed to, uh, uh, to fund to, uh, at least, uh, to a certain extent. And the whole idea is actually to uh, encourage the industries to start up their own uh, R&D activities. Uh, and we will provide uh, through our business center the, the uh, necessary uh, technology information and the, uh, and the, uh, the, the experience that uh, they should have in developing their own, uh, uh, at least to start with their own R&D and then, you know, to do the, uh, the, the major part uh, at ITI and, and to provide incubation facility. Especially uh, to educate uh, rural areas, uh, small uh, SME sector industrialists in the rural areas, uh, we have conducted series of uh, training programs. Uh, we considered about uh, uh, three provinces, that is Jaffna, Northern Province, Eastern and Uber. So we visited those areas and conducted a series of uh, training programs, especially SME sector industrialists, uh, with respect to uh, standardization and uh, quality management. Uh, in addition to that, uh, latest technology, improvements, and other related factors we uh, discuss uh, at these uh, uh, seminars.